Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do hope you're doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's go ahead and get started on your message. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What's going on in your love life? You have the Eight of Swords. Ooh. You have the Star. Hmm. You have the Judgment. I, okay, somebody is manifesting you really, really hard. Like somebody here is really hoping, wishing, praying that the two of you will come together for once. They're also hoping that you will be interested in them as well. But I don't know, I'm getting a little bit of a funky energy to this. Um, broken. I feel shattered about the situation because th th there's the reason why I feel funky <laughs> about this energy is because this is somebody here who knows that they shouldn't be desiring you. There's an individual who is looking at you as their wish fulfillment, the star. You're like their fantasy woman or man. But there's guilt behind these fantasies. It's almost like there's some sort of, you know, is this like an abomination in a way? Like they're not supposed to be interested in you. Um, I feel like this is a third party. But this is a third party who is quietly manifesting you. Quietly hoping that something will happen between the two of you. Unworthy. You are a better person than I am. Hmm. So this person doesn't feel like they deserve you. Destiny. I am struggling to find the right path. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Wow. And then space. I need more time to think. It's like a guilty pleasure. There's guilt to this. Uh, this is someone who knows that they can't be outspoken about how they feel about you. And again, it's, be, it's probably because something here is like a taboo. Something here is like a taboo. It's like, uh, maybe they know that they shouldn't be interested in you because you are a friend to them. Okay. Or maybe they know they shouldn't be interested in you because you are, the romantic partner to their friend, right? Maybe you're dating their friend and they know that this is so bad. This is like disloyalty. <clears throat> if they were to get to uh, get with you, there would be a level of disloyalty. This person really, really likes you, but they have to keep it a secret. The moon, things that are hidden. Hmm. Because there would be much conflict if they were to tell you that they like you, if they were to, you know, take action with their feelings, you have justice. There would be so much conflict here. I feel like this is a friend of your, you're dating someone or you're romantically with someone. You're, you're in some sort of romantic connection with someone. Your love interest or your lover this could be their friend or their relative who likes you. There's something about this reading where it's like they cannot say that they like you. It would cause conflict. Five of Wands is conflict, chaos. And it's because it would be very immoral, unprincipled to pursue you because you are connected to someone who they know who you are dating. The justice card is here, getting what you deserve. It is a card of balance and fairness. This person knows the justice card is getting what you deserve. They know the kind of karmic backlash that they would have to face if they were to pursue you. Because really, that's what they want. They want to pursue you. The Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. The Seven of Cups, this person daydreams about you a lot. The Nine of Wands, someone who's facing challenges. 
a wounded warrior is the Nine of Wands, and then you have the Knight of Wands. They're trying to, this person has had to really contain themselves, restrict themselves. They've had to hold themselves back and withhold their feelings and emotions. Uh, the Knight of Wands is all about passion. This is someone who wishes that they could passionately pursue you, um, but they know that they can't, okay? Who is this person and how are they connected to you? I feel like they are connected to someone who you are dating or in some sort of relationship. Look, three of cups. I can't make this up. It's a third party. I used that word earlier. I kept on feeling it. The three of cups is a third party card. It could also, It's also a social card, like social gatherings, friendship groups. This is someone here who is a friend or relative to your lover. Yes. And so they know that they cannot pursue you because if they do, it will be an ending. It will cause an ending to their friendship with your lover, two of cups. That is them and your lover. This is someone who's connected to your lover, a friend, a relative, you know, hence why the two of cups is here. So it's you, your lover, and someone connected to your lover, three people, hence why the three of cups showed up. But they know that if they were to make their feelings known, immediately that would cause an ending between them and your lover. That's what's going on here. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue this reading in your part two, your extended reading. I will put the link to part two in the description box, and I will also pin it in the comment section. So it should be the very first comment that you see. But someone here is like very, very overwhelmed uh, with their feelings about you. They feel like they're in a sticky situation pretty much. Um, what is there to know in part two? Look, Seven of Swords. Oh, I feel like this person's going to try to make a move on you. Or did they? Have they already tried to make a move on you? Because earlier, your, your lover showed up as the King of Pentacles. That's the one who you're committed to. You're in the feminine energy as the Queen of Pentacles. They're going to try. Look, they're carrying out a plan. They haven't done it yet. But the Two of Wands carrying out a plan. They're carrying out a plan to, there's something very passive that this person's going to try with you. We're going to uncover more about this in part two. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy the reading, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. And if you're interested in connecting with me more, you're welcome to book a private reading with me. You can make a donation. I invite you to join my spiritual services uh, for those of you who are seeking assistance along your spiritual journey. All that info will be in the description box. Thank you, guys. God bless you. See you in part two.